and you will agree with me that uh, the schools, first of all, are quite rural, deep inside. Some of them are behind the wall, but when you go inside, you find that they are ready and waiting for the children. You will also have seen that the environment outside the classrooms are very conducive to innovative uh, thoughts by the head teachers and the principals, for example, under this huge tree, if uh, social distancing remains a problem, depending on the time of the day, it can be used. You have seen that I'm accompanied by the Sumo County Commissioner, Madam who is behind here, very efficient, the area MP, and also the health people. So this is kind of an interministerial multi-agency showing you that the government is working as one unit and that we are all doing this in order to prepare our schools. Uh, the Board of Management is here, the PTA is here, and members are here. The point I'm trying to say is that in order for us to prepare schools to be ready for opening, we are working all together as a multi-agency within one government. I am very happy to say that the schools I have seen this morning are all rural and you will agree with me that they are ready and willing to go. My plea to you and to the public is that we must start thinking positive now. You have seen that uh, the schools have water, they are very clean. The only challenge we shall have is that of social distancing, but our children must come to school. You have heard me saying, asking uh, my brother and friend, Dr. Nika Louis, the LMP, to continue to help me together with the PTA and even the teachers and the mothers who are here, to tell the parents that this is a very serious matter since they are not poor. I have not seen any poverty in this area, Dr. Nika. <laughs> We, we didn't see them, but I have not seen any poverty. If there is, it is small. And those that small one, the government will address it. But families can afford 100 shillings to buy a nice reusable mask that covers both the nose and the mouth. Can that be done between now and the fourth? As far as the indigent children, who are about 3 million, out uh, out of the 16 million odd, we have already identified a substantial number. In fact, when the schools were open, we supplied close to 1 million masks to those children that needed them, that could not afford them. When the schools reopen, we have a challenge of another 2 million masks. We already have another million made by Libertex. But there's a gap of one million, which we are doing everything possible to identify. Don't wait for those. You, as a parent, go and buy two masks for your child. We have already identified those children who either have no parents or whose parents can't afford. So that is with regard to the state of preparedness for schools. I want to state very clearly, as policy, that the government of the Republic of Kenya shall make sure that the 19 billion shillings that is required for this second term that we are going to start on the 4th is available. We are in the process together with my brother and CS Ukuriatani. We are going to leave North Stone and Tand. Over 14 billion will go to secondary schools and about 4 billion will go to primary schools. Please use the money for the purposes for which it is meant. This is not the time for anything else. We shall follow by doing due diligence. In the past, we allowed everybody just to spend money without due diligence. Starting January 2021, that shall be our policy. In the name of God, do not be caught doing anything that we usually do in the past. I want to leave that one there, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Now, coming